you know, we don't have the the option activity, you know, really heavy to the long side. So I, I can't trade it that way. It's almost hedged equally between puts and calls. Uh, RIBN Rivian getting an upgrade at Piper to an overweight $21 price target. Romeo India, so, Victor, November. We'll see. Okay, we're dipping short first. Uh, looks like we're going to hit. We've already Adobe taken out 50. $4.48 cents on Adobe. We already took out 550. The estimate on Adobe was $4.38. So now it's time to bounce. For Alpha Delta Bravo Echo. So I'm going to catch it over 580 if it takes off. $8.08. The estimate was $7.53. cents. So that is a beat for Ulta as well. Ulta sales of three and a half, uh, three point five five billion is a beat. The estimate three point five. So five fifty. Three billion is, is where earnings and sales for. When Ulta you look at the email, Adobe. That um. This is part of the Adobe. email that Earnings Whisper sends out to me every email. week. Uh, and it says, you know, back on February 23rd, Adobe C somebody bought 1,450 contracts of 550 5 puts expiring this Friday. So, and shares I mean, it's already come down another $25. Down about $45 on Adobe. Uh, Dolby announcing new $25 billion share buyback. But I still think there's a chance that it can bounce and run the 600. Adobe sees Q2 adjusted. So we just got to wait. Kind of wait and see. Cents. That's Alpha Delta Bravo mm -hmm. Echo shares. Well, the lows now. If the, if the tide turns. Adobe. But I would even consider buying buying the bottom down here. There is a Ulta Beauty, ULTA, uh, spiking $605, up $40 at the high for Ulta. Uh, Ulta board approving a This is an over-exaggerated move. Beautiful Lima Tango Alpha. This is an over-exaggerated move. In my opinion, if it pulls back down again and holds up around five twenty five, I'm jumping in. Reversing here, pulling to the lowest five hundred dollars. Damn it! That's uh, ULTA. Come on, pull back down under five thirty. Oh, the C's uh, full year twenty twenty four <sighs> earnings of twenty six dollars twenty cents to twenty seven dollars versus twenty five dollar forty nine cent estimate revenue eleven point seven. No, 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 no! Don't jump on my key. Eleven point one four billion <clears throat> estimate for ULTA. So looking at the two minute, it's kind of triggering me an entry here. G-E-T-Y, Getty Images. Getty Images reporting nine cents. The estimate was a penny, so that's a beat. For Golf Echo Tango Yankee. Frustrating. Frustrating. Come on down. Drop under five thirty for me. T 
TLYS Tillys, a loss of 69 cents. The estimate was a loss of 22 cents. So that uh, miss uh, sales of 173 million. The estimate was 171.65 million. Angelina Yankee Sandy. SMAR Smart Sheet. Man, the, the spread on this is terrible. Smart Sheet reporting uh, 34 cents. The estimate was 18 cents, so that's a beat for Sandy Michael Alfa Romeo. Look at Alta here. But spread is just outrageous on it. ADVE is manageable. Alta is setting up, but spread is just uncivilized. All right, we got triggered. We got triggered short. I don't know how far this is going to go. See if we can get 515. I just don't know how far this can go. Because it's already extended. Um, I'll do 5. See if we can get 518 on a dip. INTS Intensity Therapeutics reporting a full year loss of $1.38. It might get stuck at 520. 22 cents at the same period a year ago, 2022. That's India, November Tango Sandy, INTS. ONTF on 24 on March 14th, board unanimously approved a share buyback program up to $25 million of its common stock at Oscar November Tango Foxtrot, ONTF. That's from an 8K filing. Five oh six ninety one. We get under five twenty, we should be able to get five eighteen. got to get through 520 that's a that's a thick um, area of support thick area of support yeah so ADBE we if we can get under 520, I think we can do something. If not, it's a dead duck. That was expected. Sales of 3.55 million. It's in a lame duck scenario. What's up, big girl? ZUMZ Zoomies. Zoomies reporting sales of two hundred eighty-one point eight million, a loss of a dollar seventy-three. We're getting held up at five twenty. Twenty-six cents in earnings. If and we can lose five twenty, so um, we got five eighteen on deck. Uh, 
earnings coming uh, in below. There that, we go. Uh, see what I see what I mean? I mean with a loss versus a twenty six cent earning on Z U M Z. Zulu uniform Michael Zulu. Uh let's see if we're gonna get five fifteen. I wasn't too sure we could stretch it to five fifteen. I'm glad I saw we got five eighteen. But next solid level of support is going to be right here at 507. Uh, BW, Babcock, and Wilcox, a loss of 74 cents. The estimate was a loss of 3 cents. Revenue 227.2 million is a miss, so that's a miss on earnings and revenue for Bravo Whiskey, BW. <sighs> ULTA, Ulta Beauty, off the lows now, $545, right. down more than $20. So, linear regression towns at five nineteen eighty nine. On ULTA. Which explains why it's Adobe, stuck right now. Falling to the lows, $517.01. Uh, continue to pull back here now. ABBE. No, we're going to get 515 MCHX, MarchX reporting a loss of two cents. The estimate was uh, flat earnings, no earnings. Uh, revenue of 12.4 million. The estimate was 12.7 million, so that's a miss for- We're gonna uh, get 515. AKBA, Akibia Therapeutics, zero earnings. No estimate on Akibia. Kodak, Eastland Kodak reporting $275 million. The estimate uh, that's versus three hundred five million. In the same Should be able to get five fifteen. Delta Kilo K O D K S K L Z Skills twenty nine point one million in revenue. The estimate was thirty eight million. So that's uh, come on down five fifteen. Bingo. Kino. I'm gonna put 25, I'm gonna put some at, I'm gonna put some at 510. Let's go back and take a look at, take a look at the option flow jammy here. All right, so um, 550 was the ball that they called. 550. We got 540. We're all the way down. So there is a little clump at 510. But then look at 500. I, I mean, it is possible this thing can hit 500 today. It is possible. So I, that's what I'm looking at. You know, potential. 510 is the next target I've got. Um, so I, that looks pretty juicy. But then 500. We do have a daily level in the way. Um, right here. Four ninety nine. All right. So we got five ten. No slippage like we got on the last one. I always love positive slippage. Always love positive slippage. HSCS Hard Sciences reporting.
we get to 505, I'll throw half out. And lead the rest for five. Art Sciences. Well, as of January 31, I'm going to hold, since I only have 25 shares left, I'm just going to hold and see if we get 500. HSCS. And if we get stalled out at around 505, 506. I'll bail out. Well, these little bit of shares aren't going to do any damn thing to move the price. That's for sure. <laughs> I can promise you that. So 500, you guys saw why 500 is going to be my final target on this. There's some nice options activity there. And this is, what is this? Four ninety nine twenty five. So, 500 would be good. trying to bounce here now if we do bounce and reject at the uh, LRC I'm adding looking for the move to 500 oh I don't know does anybody know right offhand what time the conference call is I haven't looked it up yet It's at five. Shit, I'm not going to be here at five. I'm going to have to manage the rest of this remotely. I've got to leave at 440. Uh, Cardalytics uh, shares up about 50% at the highs following their report. A uh, company uh, uh, is being on earnings. Um, but you guys know my plan. Shares at a high of $12 and at $11.11, .11, up about $3 for CDM. I was hoping this thing would be at 430 Really, I was hoping to be done with this thing by 4 All right, so that's the first leg of it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, don't ask me. I'm not gonna look. Even if you do send me a private message, I do not look at my PNL until my day is done. Remember what I told you. The money is in your mindset, not your P&L. Some people don't believe it, but until they subscribe to that, their life, their trading life is very hard and stressful. ACTG, Acacia Research, reporting 75 cents. The estimate was 7 cents. That may not compare revenue of 92.3 million. So I'm going to. We'll Charlie. give it about 20, about five more minutes to see if we get this next leg down. Now, it didn't give me, this is not an ad. 
Just because it popped up and then came back down doesn't mean you add. If I'm going to add, I need it to actually trade itself back up toward 520, test it, and reject it, and come back through. A you know, GERN share is resumed trade. Dollar right now, this is November. not an ad event. Uh, share is hitting $3.16. For me. After resuming. Why didn't I trade Ulta? Company announcing FDA. Advice I'll tell you what. You look at. You look at um, everything and tell me why I didn't trade Ulta. Uh, now $3.60. That's Dolph Echo Rover in November, GERN. That's the lower the announcement candle. Yep, you guys got both the answers. Number one, it wasn't on our scanner. Number two, it's razor thin. And number three, I know it's a $2 spread now, but a couple of minutes ago it was $7. Okay, now it's a dollar. But these huge swings in the spread, and I mean, there's just no way to manage your risk in that. Um, the put volume didn't make me think it was going down. You talking about on um, ABDE? I didn't know which way it was going to go. That's that's what I told you guys. I, I have no idea. Because the option flow was pretty hedged on both sides. I mean, the long side had a little bit more you know, open interest than the short side. But um, this right here is what made us look BLND blend to the short side. Loss of 13 cents. You know, this is put out by the earnings whispers. Was a loss of nine cents, so that's a one loss of expected. You know, I get. Delta. They send an email of all of the notable earnings. Revenue thirty six point one million is short of the thirty six point nine million estimate for BLND. They they send the I'm trying to not talk when this fool is talking, but every time I open my mouth, he starts to talk. But um, they email this on Friday or Saturdays. And it's got the notable earnings for the week. And it tells you if they detect any, you know, anything of, of note. And here, somebody bought 1,450 contracts at the 550 put expiring tomorrow. So this guy, either he was guessing real early or he knew something. But I didn't trade based on that. Remember, remember the uh, what we talked. I don't know. You might not have been in the class today. Remember, we talked about subjective versus objective. If I would have traded based on what I saw here, I would be trading on subjectivity. I'd be basing my opinion on what somebody else did. Here, when I traded, I traded on objectivity. I waited until we had evidence that this stock is going to go down. And I traded it. 
So price waiting for the price action to tell us what it's going to do is being objective. Because at that point, we're building a case. We're building evidence. ABD, American Vanguard, reporting 25 cents. The estimate was 27 cents for that. Let me see. I'm trying to find the... Uh, Oh Lord. WP carry increasing its quarterly dividend to 80. This computer is so slow. It is not funny. There it is. From today's uh, class, and you eat new pork, uh, you know, subjective information or perspective based on feelings, opinions, or emotions. And you eat that's when we're, you know, going by what somebody else said. Um, objective, verifiable information based on facts and evidence. You know, this right here just doesn't really tell us much. That there was just some buying. But we still don't know whether it's going to go up or down. You know, we looked at the option flow. And unlike the, the other earnings trade we took, look, there's really, there's a little bit more volume on the call side than the put side, but look, it's still stacked. It's still stacked. We got 510, I'm looking for 500. And I honestly think this can get there. Um, it'll probably get there after I'm gone. I'm gonna take my computer with me. But you guys see what I'm talking about. Now, if we get the bounce and then we start to sell off um, going into going into um, the conference call, I'm definitely going to add back and I'm going to unload at 500. I mean, there's a chance we can we can go we can keep going. You know, there's some people camping out at 480, 490. You know, obviously 450 is going to be stacked, just like 600 right here. Um, look, people are just waiting. Just didn't get there, but lost, they took it short. So like I said, that guy that bought all those puts a couple weeks ago, he's sitting pretty right now. Sitting pretty right now. All right, guys, I got to make my run. Um, but I'll check in with you guys. See if anything happened. All right, you're welcome. You are welcome, but that's that's how we do it every day. That's how we do earnings. You know, it's not 
what makes earnings easy to trade and less scary is understanding price action and all the components that make up price action. Price action is not just watching the candlestick go up and down. It, it's as you know, as you guys have seen the last couple of weeks, it's deeper than that. But it's really, really simple once you get it. And once you get it, you won't need me or anybody else. Then wherever you are, if you have internet, you know how to execute. The whole point in this is to become self-sufficient and not need anybody anymore. You know, once you pay your school tuition, we don't, we don't care about started. CL Colgate Palmolive raising its dividend from 48 cents to 50 cents. That's Charlie Lima. CL 48 cents to 50 cents on that dividend increase for Colgate Palmolive. Charlie Lima. CL. All right. Like when you pay your tuition for school. You know, once you get, school is designed to teach you to be self-sufficient. Um, once you graduate and you move on, they pat you on the back and say, see, you wouldn't want to be you. Right? AJG, Arthur J. Gallagher. So nothing wrong with that. Announcing equity distribution agreement. And if you don't get it, what do you have to do? You have to go back to school or go to another school or whatever, and hopefully you get it then. But the whole point is to make help you be self-sufficient. That's what all these trading education programs should be. Not to keep you on the hook for... Um subscription payments but to help you become self-sufficient alright so I'll be back I gotta run and I'll, I'll check in with you guys in a few